A new, a new tribute for George Floyd, a special groundbreaking ceremony is being held at Jack Yates High School today. The school's football field will now be called the George Perry Floyd Jr. Community Athletic Field. The high school is also receiving a generous donation to help renovate that field. Our Andy Sirota is live now at Jack Yates High School with details on today's big reveal. Andy? Chris, Jack Yates High School is George Floyd's alma mater. A lot of energy and enthusiasm out here earlier today surrounding this donation and the naming of this field. The Houston Texans, one of three organizations gifting $450,000 to renovate it. In addition to the donation, the Houston Texans are also donating the artificial surface they played on last season at NRG Stadium to help resurface the sports fields at Yates High School. Each season, the Texans install a new artificial surface and then donate the previous one to a high school in the Houston area. This is tradition. The idea behind the renovation is to make this field, which will be named after George Floyd, into a community field, a centerpiece of sorts for all student athletes in Third Ward. We heard from several speakers at the event this afternoon, from Yates alumni to local leaders, and the CEO of the Houston Texans, all speaking about the significance and importance of this project to the community. This is about the students, the student athletes, and it's about continuing to give them the opportunities that they so richly deserve. Something great is going to happen, and we regret that somebody had to die so that we would do this, but we ought to take this and see what lessons we learn. And in what ways we are all inspired to do better than the life that was there for George Floyd. Again, the donation made today, unclear exactly how long the renovation will take or when it will begin. Third Ward residents, Jack Yates students and staff will certainly be looking on and watching the process with anticipation and excitement. We are live in Third Ward tonight. Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News.